Hi guys, a very warm welcome from RGD Creations. Today we are doing the lesson 2 of Gond Art for Beginners. To recap, we have made a fish Gond Art painting in the last session. In case you've missed that, I'm mentioning the links in the description box below. You can refer to that. Now for today's session, again I'm taking an A5 sheet, which is half of an A4, and I've marked a border area of 0.5 cm. Now, I'm going to start drawing of a peacock today. So for the peacock, let us start our drawing. First, we are going to draw a circle. After that, draw dual circles for the eye of the peacock. This becomes the beak. So it is a triangle. Now to make the head, on top of the head, make three, make a drop shape like this. like this here we'll give the feet these are the feet of the peacock now here at the ends we are going to give a curve Here also, like this. We are going to do a lot of intricate designing in the entire peacock. Now we are going to make the tree behind. So in the Gondar paintings, you must have observed in the first painting also that the tree was extremely important. We are going to draw a more elaborate tree here. So just make the trunk here. So in this we are going to have more pointed parts to the tree. So like when I'm doing the branch here, it is going to be very pointed this time. So we are going to draw more elaborate tree which is more pointed.
Now, let me take out my paints. Now for this, I have taken out a little bit of white. Just mix a drop of blue. So you will get a light blue color. So we are going to use a light blue color for the face of the peacock. Here as well as the center body of the peacock. For the wings we will go for a different shape. Now in Gondar a lot of designing we are going to do from on top of it so a very dark base color is not going to be very uh, useful and it won't look so nice also. Now I am going to take a slightly darker shade, not very dark but slightly darker shade of blue and I am mixing a little bit of turquoise color also. And we've come up with a different color of blue. Now here I'm going to use my thicker brush. In the same way we are going to do it here. So now that you can see now that the peacock we've done, now just take a little bit of red color to do the beak of the peacock. Okay. Now the fruits. Now when we have to do the fruits here, these, what we are going to do is I have taken out yellow. And just mix it with a little bit of white. So we are going to do a shade of light yellow here. And on the outside we will do a shade of dark yellow. So first let us just do a shade of like this. So in the inside part is white and in the outside part is going to be yellow. So just put white first. And then put a light shade of yellow. Okay. So put white inside. And at the rounded edge put yellow. Now let me just finish these.
Now, while my um, yellow is drying up and my blue has dried up, let us start. Now, taking a 0.4 micron, first let us make the eye. Now here you can use 0.3 or 0.4 any of those microns. For the beak, I'm just dividing it. Generally, we will draw a circle here. Draw another line here. There is a lot of white dotting work that we are going to do in the peacock now. So first, let us first draw our outline. So let me put it this way. Now here what we are going to do is we are going to make ovals sorry uh, arc shapes in this arc shapes we are going to make lining now there is going to be a lot of difference when we are doing it here is may outer portion may we will make smaller circles see like this same way make an arc here in the outer one I'm going to make circles Now I will make a complete semicircle. This. here top maybe I'm giving circles because in between these I'm going to give my white tops now in this also we are going to make a circle another drop shape like this now let us do the outline
now the first thing that like we did in the fish was we are going to do a lot of dotting here and in this part also we do a lot of dotting now for the peacock feathers what we can we have to do is that there is a we are going to basically make this kind of a shape Now, in this, we are just going to draw like this, divide it, and then we are going to draw thin lines. So, draw semicircle to divide it, and then draw thin lines. Now see how pretty the peacock has started looking. Now we are going to draw the wings in this here. So draw this shape. Now same draw semicircle divide it. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my, um, this is a Sakura white pen and we are going to give white color in the last circles that we created. Inside as well as the last circle.
Now we will first come to the tree. Now for the tree here, what we are going to do a very different tree than we did it in the fish. So first is we are going to make very pointed paths, just connect it. First let us outline the tree, very pointed ones. Let us do an outline for the feet also. Now first is we will remove all pencil marks. Now that we have done the outline we are going to do the lining here. Do thin lining close by. Now we are going to color the alternate ones. So for coloring you can take any pen. I am taking a fiber castle to color it, alternate ones.
Now let me finish this. Now see how beautiful this tree has started looking now. Now I'm taking a red pen and I'm just going to do lining in this. Okay, just to add a little color, take any red pen. Now before we finish the painting, we are just going to draw glue. And I will just paint the feet of the peacock black. Now you can see that my beautiful home painting of the peacock is done. Do create your own and share with us. Thanks for watching. Do like our video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the notification button or the bell button so that you can be notified as soon as we are live or we put a new video. Thank you so much and bye bye.